Best foods for hair growth. Now, get a pen and a paper. We're going to go for this. Best foods for hair growth. Eggs. Yes, the incredible edible egg. Eggs are probably one of the best foods you can do to stimulate hair growth. Why eggs? You ask. Why eggs? Eggs are rich in biotin. Eggs are rich in protein. Eggs are rich in B vitamins. Eggs are rich in um, uh, fatty acids. That's really good for hair growth. You know, back in the day, so I, I swear to God, I've seen women say you should put an egg on your scalp. I never understood why until I started research. I didn't even know I knew that. But they say you can put eggs in your hair. Um, if you ever look at some shampoos, they will have egg protein in there. Um, do you ever heard women say put mayonnaise to moisturize your scalp? I mean, some crazy things. Well, mayonnaise is predominantly eggs, you know. So eggs is an excellent food to help stimulate hair growth. Number two, bell peppers. I know, right? You ever thought about bell pepper stimulate? How would you? Bell peppers? Yes. I'm going to give you why bell peppers is number two. Bell peppers are rich in carotenoids. Bell pepper are rich in vitamin C. Okay? And vitamin C helps with production of collagen and keratin. And we always say what the hair is made of is keratin. Okay? So vitamin C helps with that. And, uh, I mean, bell peppers also have silica in there. Silica is an excellent mineral that stimulates hair growth, but it makes the hair strong. Okay, so you get yourself some bell peppers. You get yourself some green bell peppers, some red bell peppers, some yellow bell peppers. Eat your bell peppers. Really good for stimulating hair growth. Number three, beans slash lentils. Okay, so if you like beans, what they say, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you fart. You know, you like beans? Excellent for stimulating hair growth. You like lentils? Excellent for stimulating hair growth. Why is that? Keratin is a protein. That's what our hair is made of. Well, beans and lentils are very rich in protein. But these proteins are also very rich in B vitamins. You know? So beans and lentils, excellent for stimulating your hair growth, okay? So get home and start eating them beans. The more you eat them, the more you feel. I mean, what is it? Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. So eat those beans with every meal. Eat your beans. <laughs> That's the whole key thing. Oh, God. Number four, nuts. Eat your nuts. Another one. If you notice, if you really, really notice, so far the top four foods are all, the top three, three of the four foods are all protein rich because your body needs protein if it wants to stimulate hair growth. So eat your nuts. It's rich in B vitamins, rich in vitamin E. Okay? Number five, salmon and omega-3 rich foods, especially omega-3 rich fish. Uh, salmon, rich in omega-3, rich in astaxanthin, uh, rich in some calcium. Uh, so salmon is really good. Salmon, those omega-3s, remember, what do we talk about? The hair grows, and what's right next to the hair? You have something called a sebaceous gland. What does it secrete? A natural oil that lubricates and uh, um, uh, moisturizes the scalp and lubricates the hair follicles. You want the good oil coming out of there. You want omega-3, so it's a nice, shiny, healthy hair. Okay? So eating omega-3 rich foods is going to help you. So salmon, cruciferous vegetables. So that's your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts, your cabbage, all those things like that. That also stimulates hair growth. Why does it stimulate hair growth? Number one, it is rich in folate. That's a B vitamin. That's really good for stimulating hair growth. Number two, it is very rich in sulfur. Sulfur is very good for stimulating hair growth in the body. Sulfur is also extremely good for uh, uh, keeping the skin looking young and healthy. So cruciferous vegetables is really high in sulfur, and sulfur is going to help you with your hair growth, okay? Number seven, bone broth, okay? If you can get some bone broth protein, they have them already in powder. They have them already in liquids. Um, you could do it like that. Or you could just do the bone broth itself. You could go home like the old school way. They used to make, uh, um, back in the day, people used to make, 
um, what do you call that, bone broth stew. So what they do is cook down the bones. You get your, you, after you finish eating, your, 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 your grandparents will cook down the bones, and they will make broth out of the bones. Well, that bone broth is rich in type 1, 2, and 3 collagens. Well, collagen is excellent for stimulating hair growth. Bone broth is also really good for in hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin and your eyes and your joints and all that stuff like that. And also, you're getting the calcium that's coming from the bone broth and the electrolytes that's coming from the bone broth. So bone broth is really good for stimulating hair growth. Number eight, pumpkin seeds. We're in the fall time. Man, isn't this weather been crazy? Today was 75 degrees. It's November, and it's 75 degrees out, right? Uh, that's just a little tangent. But we are in the fall. You can have access to pumpkins. You can get your own pumpkins, cut them open, and roast your own pumpkin seeds. Or you can go to the store and get you some raw pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds is rich in zinc. Zinc helps with stimulating hair growth. It's very important for the immune system, and it also helps stimulate hair growth. So grab you some pumpkin seeds, okay? Remember those you used to eat back in the day? I remember when I was growing up, little girls used to eat sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. That was a little thing. And then they had shoes that they called pumpkin seeds. Y'all remember those? Oh, maybe not. All right. Number nine, seaweed. Now, you know, why are you saying seaweed, Abdul? You want me to go into the ocean and go grab me some sea moss? You know, you want some kelp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to go there and get your sea moss. I want you to go there and get your kelp. I want you to go there and get your bladder rack. I want you to just eat seaweed, your nori. They're really high in uh, uh, minerals, very, very high in minerals. So it's going to give you your, some of your vitamins, but it's really high in your, your irons, your, your uh, iodines. That's going to protect your thyroid because well, what did we talk about? One of the leading causes of hair loss is what? Thyroid deficiency, hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism. Well, your seaweeds help balance your thyroid. Okay? They give you tons of nutrition. They alkaline the body. They help you with weight loss. Did you know that? Help you with weight loss. So get your seaweeds in. It's going to help you with stimulating your hair growth. And number 10, spinach. Spinach, that's right. Spinach is really rich in folic acid or folate, excuse me, not folic acid. Folate is rich in vitamin A, is rich in uh, iron, really good for stimulating hair growth. Those are some of the basic new, like, building blocks of hair. You need protein, you need B vitamins, you need zinc, you need irons, you need E's, all those things like that. So all the foods that we just talked about is going to help you with stimulating your hair growth. So if you're saying, I want to, I want to incorporate these into my diet, yes, you need the nutrition that's going to help your body grow hair. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean you're going to start eating spinach today and tomorrow you're going to see your hair down to the, your back. No, 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 no. Let's keep it real. It doesn't work like that. Hair takes a second to grow. Hair takes a second for the body to actually break down the nutrients and start feeding it. So these foods are like fertilizer for your hair follicles. Okay? So you eat these foods, you're going to start noticing over time your hair is growing thicker, healthier, and stronger. Okay?